Good evening. Good Good to see everyone here tonight. Welcome to our night of joy at Southside Baptist Church. Um, If you're a guest, we are especially glad that you have chosen to join us in this night of worship. Um, It's Christmas time, so Merry Christmas. If I, if I could think of one, one word um, that I love to describe Christmas, it is the word joy. Um, not necessarily because everything always goes just as planned, um, but uh, because of who we are celebrating, and that is Jesus Christ. And uh, the angels said that uh, he was bringing good news of great joy that would be for all the people. For unto us was born that night in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. That's why we celebrate Christmas. And so tonight, we invite you to celebrate with us the birth of our Savior. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Almighty God, we thank you so much for uh, tonight. God, we thank you for this season of the year. Father, we thank you that you have loved us so much that you looked down on us in our need of a Savior, and you sent one, and he is your Son, Jesus Christ. God, we thank you that you first loved us. God, even while we were still sinners, Christ came and he died for us. Truly, God, that first night um, of Christmas in Bethlehem, God, was a night of joy. God, good news had been brought to the earth. And Father, we thank you um, that Christ was born in that lowly stable in a manger. God, even though there weren't many people that noticed his, his coming, Father, we thank you that He came and did what he said he was going to do, to lay down his life on the cross. And Father, tonight as we celebrate the birth of our Savior, Father, my prayer for all of us is that you would fill our hearts with joy. God, I thank you that it doesn't matter um, the circumstances that we find ourselves in in life, whether they're circumstances that we are glad about or circumstances that make us disappointed or sad. Father, there can be a joy that lies deep within us that can overcome all of the many things that we face in this life. That joy is found only through Jesus. So tonight, Father, we want to worship you. We want to say thank you for sending Jesus through the music that uh, that we get to listen to and that we get to participate in. Father, ultimately, tonight is about Jesus. It's not about us. It's about Jesus. And so, Father, with that being said, would you receive all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We welcome you tonight to this night of joy, and we want you to sing with us as we stand together. We'll sing this call to worship we've been learning in the morning service. We want to sing it tonight as well, so let's stand together and sing Unspeakable Joy. Everybody stand. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her peace. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing.
songs of Christmas joy, we can't help asking one question. Why? Why would this king forsake the glory of heaven for a dark, dirty stable? Why would he turn his back on multitudes of angels bowing before him for a world that could not begin to fathom who he was? What kind of king would leave his throne in heaven to make this earth his home while men seek fame and great renown in loneliness our king The moment she accepted God's call on her life, a young girl named Mary became an unforgettable part of this Christmas story. For nine months, she carried within her the hope of all mankind. And the night Jesus was born, she delivered the greatest gift of joy the world has ever known. Shepherds watched their flocks by night and nearly fell asleep. Another lonely 
quiet night of watching all those sheep until a choir of holy angels pierce the night with songs of joy. Good news I bring for Christ the King is Mary's baby boy. Hosanna to the highest and to Christ his only son. God's glory wrapped in swaddling clothes, the meek and lowly one. This baby boy will change the hearts of all who can believe. What the prophets told has come to pass, a virgin has been seen. Joseph wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. The strips of cloth kept him warm and made him feel secure. They were also a symbol, a way faithful Jewish parents said, we will teach this child to walk straight in God's word and his way. And so the word, our way to the father, God's own son set off on a journey that would one day take him to a cross.
each year we come to this familiar story with increasing wonder at God's great love in giving his son. Every familiar Christmas carol reminds us that this is a story of joy, a joy we experience every time we sing about our Savior, and we invite you to stand with us and sing these familiar carols right now. Have a seat for just a moment. Thank you, choir. Thank you, Lori. Y'all give them another hand. Oh, that was incredible. Um, such joy. Why? Why, why such joy at just a baby? Um, I, I know that many of you have experienced the joy of a little child, um, but there was no joy um, that came with a child that's ever been known like the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And, um, and, and to, those who, to those who don't understand why Christ came, maybe, maybe the world wonders, why do we get so excited about the birth of a little boy 2,000 years ago? Why do we still sing about him? Well, there's a reason. Because you and I are lost in our sin. We are. Uh, that, that's just the truth of the matter, that we have sin in our heart and it separates us from a holy and righteous God. Because he's holy and righteous, uh, what we deserve is for him to punish us. And that's exactly what he will do. Uh, he will punish us for all of eternity. You say, why do you talk about something like that on a night that we're supposed to be talking about joy? Well, that's why it's joyful that Jesus came. See, Jesus came so that we wouldn't experience the punishment that we deserve. We all deserve it, but Christ came for a specific purpose, and the choir just beautifully shared that with us, that he came to die, that he came to set out on a journey, and he did. He set his face at one point in his ministry to Jerusalem, and his purpose in going to Jerusalem was to give his life as a ransom for sinners, and that's exactly what he did. Um, it was painful. It hurt. He felt the forsakenness of being separated from his father, and yet he did it because he loved us so very much. And so tonight, what I would like just to ask you is, have you experienced the joy of Christmas? 
not have you experienced the lights and the Christmas trees and the presents and those things that we like to celebrate, not even the, the, the getting together with family and, and how joyous that can be, but have you experienced the salvation that Jesus came to bring? That's what the choir just sang about, and that's why they sang about it. It's because they've experienced the joy of salvation, but have you? Tonight, before you leave, if you've never experienced the joy that Christ came to bring, the joy of having your sins forgiven and knowing that you have a place that is secure in heaven waiting on you, then before you leave tonight, get somebody and drag us to the side and say, drag us gently, but drag us to the side and say, and say I want to know how my sins can be forgiven. Will you please help me know how I can trust in Christ as my Lord and Savior? You can, you can drag me to the side. You grab one of these choir members in just a few moments. Um, grab Lori. You get somebody that you know, maybe somebody that you came with tonight. But don't leave tonight without knowing personally the joy of salvation that Jesus came to bring. Would you join me in prayer? Almighty God, we come before you once more tonight, and we thank you. God, thank you so much for the for the, um, the time and effort that the choir and, and Lori and those running the, uh, the, the sound and the lights and the video uh, screens. And God, thank you for the time that they put in and, and sharing this with us tonight. But God, um, this is more, more than just us getting together and singing some songs. God, this isn't just a concert. This, this is more than that. God, this is a worship service. God, we are worshiping you because you so graciously provided a way of salvation through Jesus Christ, your son. And God, it was, an easy road, was not an easy road that he walked, and it definitely was not an easy death that he died. Father, he came for a very specific purpose. Yes, he, he came and, and, he, and, he, and he taught, he, he did miracles, um, and, and those were important, but he came for one specific reason, and that was to lay down his life on the cross. And God, we cannot truly celebrate the birth of Jesus. We cannot truly celebrate Christmas without also remembering the cross. But God, thank you that Jesus Christ did not stay dead, that he had power over death, power over Satan, power over our sin. And he rose up from the grave on the third day. God, that's why we're able to celebrate his birth. It's because though he died, he rose again. And today he lives and he rules and he reigns at your right hand. And Father, you are waiting. Christ is waiting to rescue anyone from their sin. If we will just call out to Jesus and ask him to forgive us, not because we deserve it, but because he did all the work that was necessary to rescue us from our sin through his death and resurrection. Father, that's what tonight is all about. Father, I, I pray right now that if there is anyone here in this room who has never trusted in Jesus Christ as their Savior, and received forgiveness of sins and the joy that comes with knowing Jesus as their Lord and Savior, God, I pray that tonight would be the night that they receive salvation. God, even right now in this moment, I pray that they would, in their hearts, call out to you and ask you to forgive them based on the blood of Jesus that he shed on Calvary's cross. Thank you, Father, that you sent Jesus that night in Bethlehem. Thank you that it was good news of great joy for all people. Thank you, Father, for the joy that you place in our hearts through this little baby that was born in Bethlehem and laid on a manger, but later was laid on a cross, nailed to it, and died for our sins. God, tonight is about Jesus. May you and you alone receive all the honor and all the glory that is due your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you would stand, let's give the choir and Lori one more round of applause. And y'all go ahead and be making your way out those doors.